Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all well. It is currently snowing outside, which is very weird for February, but I digress. I actually love the snow. It's like my favourite, favourite weather. I prefer it to rain, it's more pretty, especially when you're inside. Anyway, today I thought I would show you my flawless base routine, just for anyone that is wanting to create the flawless full coverage base. I have done a few sort of glam videos but I thought I'd do one specific to just my foundation routine. So you don't have to use the exact same products that I am using to create this flawless base. It will work with any products that you're using, it's just the way that you apply them that's going to make the difference. So I'm going to start off by priming, so I'll go grab my primer. So the primer that I'm going to be using is my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Two P's in that. And what I do is I press that into my nose especially because that is where I have the most like enlarged pores. And then I also put quite a bit around like my cheek area just in this section just because I do have pores that come around here. And this is very much a smoothing primer. And I also put it on my chin as well because I do have quite a few sort of spots, not spots, enlarged pores on my chin. And I also like to fill in my wrinkles on my forehead. Because when I apply makeup, I end up with like frown lines up here, which is not good. I'm nearly 21. Should not have frown lines already, but anyway. I then go in, I am actually loving this um, primer and I think I'm going to have to buy like the full one. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced, this is the Primed and Poreless Primer. This is just like a tester one that I got when I bought some products from them. But I actually really like how it makes my skin feel. And it looks like this, it's like a really weird consistency. And so I then press that into the similar areas. And then this goes like more all over my face. Just to ensure that we're fully primed and my skin's nice and smooth. Trying to get rid of any of that texture. Because that is like the worst thing with doing foundations when your skin has texture. And then I like to go in with an illuminator just because I like that dewy skin look. So I'm going to go in. This is the Lies Waiter Base Illuminatrix. This I got in my January Birch box and I actually really like it. And then I just apply that a bit like a moisturiser just to my whole face. And this routine makes my skin look really smooth and it helps me sort of erase all of these marks and spots. I also take it under my eye just because I like to have like brightened eyes as well so now is like the critical moment is the tool that you're going to use to apply your foundation if you want a full coverage look you'll want a beauty blender or a sponge i like the beauty blender and the sunday ivy microfiber sponge i'll link both down below for you but i really really like this if you want more of a full coverage but a bit more natural look I would recommend a brush the Smith 115 brush is really really good for that um, again I'll link it down below for you guys but I'm gonna go more full coverage today because I love full coverage makeup and I'm gonna go in with my sponge so I'm just gonna take my foundation you can use any foundation for this step and I'm just going to pump three pumps on the back of my hand. Now I'm using the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Foundation in the shade Shell, but you can use any foundation that you like. And then I'm just going to bounce that onto my skin. The more you bounce it in, the more that illuminator is gonna mix with it and you're gonna get that illumination underneath your skin and underneath your foundation. I'm not going to take any product under my eye and I'm just going to ensure that I've blended it up into my ear and down my neck. And you just want to keep bouncing it into your skin. 
Oh, just love that glow. And when you go onto your nose, you don't want to put too much product on. Just because it is quite difficult to get it all to stick and you don't want it to look really cakey. That is the big thing, is using a little bit of product and then building it up instead of going in with a lot of product and trying to blend it all out. That's why I don't really like dotting foundation onto my face. I prefer to put it on my sponge and then dab it onto my face. Just because I've got more control over the amount of product that's being laid on there. Because sometimes you can be quite heavy handed if you just put dots all over your face. And you're going to ensure you get it into your hairline but try not to get it on your hair. Because that's when you look a bit grey and like you've got grey hairs around your hairline. And then with any product that you've got left, because obviously I've got foundation everywhere now, I just go over the areas that I think need a little bit more coverage. That's usually like my spot areas, like around my cheeks and my chin, and just a bit onto my forehead. Oh, just look at that glow. Definitely having like an illuminating primer underneath really, really helps to create that really nice natural glow. So I'm gonna quickly nip off camera and do my eyebrows. If you want to see my full eyebrow routine, I'll link it down below for you guys. And I'll be back and we can carry on with doing the flawless base. Okay, so eyebrows on. They look a bit crazy because I've got nothing else on. So next I go in with concealer and I go in with a lighter concealer than my base just to brighten my under eyes and the middle of my face. And I go in with the Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer in the shade Swan. And I just take a little bit under here and up the side. And the same on the other side. I also take a bit on my cupid's bow and round sort of my smile line area. On my chin, middle of my forehead. Try not to put too much there as you'll blend it out too far. And down my nose so that is where I conceal just to ensure that my face is brightened so I'm just gonna bounce out the middle part which is my nose and just blend it all into my skin it feels weird that I'm doing this so close <laughs> and by doing this you can already see already the middle of my face looks a lot brighter And you just want to bounce it all in and ensure that it's not sort of patchy anywhere. And then I'm just going to blend out my under eyes. And you don't want to spread this too far. And just try and focus it just in that under eye portion. And also a little bit across the eyelid. This way you then have an eyeshadow base if you wish to do eyeshadow. And you're also cancelling out any sort of veininess on your eyes. I also have to conceal like this part of my nose just because where I wear glasses that part is always red no matter if I haven't worn glasses for a couple of days it's always red. So see how this side looks so bright and just you're drawn to the centre of the face instead of like looking at the side or anything and then this side it just looks a little bit meh. So see how everything just looks brighter. It also has that luminosity because the concealer is a little bit luminous as well. I really, really like it. So I'm actually going to take a little bit more. I usually take a bit more just on the inner corner of my eye. Just because my bags are really, really bad. Obviously if you've done this step and your bags aren't really showing, then you can skip this bit. But this is just personal preference. So now to keep the luminosity but bring a bit more shape back to my skin, I'm going to go in with a cream contour. So I use the Chanel Glow Bronzer which I know is an extortionate amount of money. I also really really like the Barry M Flawless Chisel Cheeks Bronzer. What I would do with this is instead of drawing it onto your skin, take a sponge and just dab on a little bit so then you can control more of where it's going instead of just having lines going down your face but today I'm going to use my Chanel bronzer and I do the exact same step as I just said I use my sponge and I'm going to swirl a bit on my sponge 
and then I like it to be more on the tops of my cheekbones just so that my face looks more up than round if that makes sense and you just blend it all together so see how this side looks more up this side doesn't really have much shape and looks more wide so I do the same on this side And then if you feel like you've gone too high, you can go back in with the other sponge and just blend it all out and in together. I love how like seamless this makes my skin look. And I also blend it into this part of my eye, like the temple, just to really chisel out my eyes. Now for your forehead, you want to Blend sort of further in on the sides if you want a smaller forehead and less at the top otherwise you're going to make yourself look like you've got a really muddy forehead. And then I also put it over my lips because this encourages my lips to look a little bit bigger and more plump that's like a big thing. And then also down my jawline as well. So now before I even set my skin, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. So I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, but I also like the Rimmel London Bronzer. That's a really nice one as well. And just stamp it on. Do not swirl it, otherwise you will move all your products underneath. And just bring it up on top of that cream contour and the same on the other side and then also across your forehead just over where you've contoured but again just stamping it on because you don't want to disturb or move the product underneath and then again, if you think you've blended too far, take your sponge and just blend out those edges. This way you end up with like seamless blending. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for the last like two weeks, I'm obsessed with blush at the minute. So I have two different blushes here. I've got a Colourpop blush and a NARS blush. I like the NARS one because it has some sheen to it. But I also like this Colourpop one because it's really nice and pigmented. I'm not too sure which one I want to go with today. I think I want to go with the Nars one because I want some of that glow. And all I do with this is you take some of that, tap off the excess and just tap it onto the tops of the cheekbones. Again, tapping motions, no swirling. Just because you don't want to disturb any of the underneath product. This side always looks higher, so I'm just going to go along and just blend that out. And the same on this side. I love blushed skin, I just think it looks gorgeous. So I haven't contoured my nose because I find it easier to contour my nose when I have some powder on. So now I'm going to go in and set my skin. So there are two ways you can do this. You can go in and bake with a translucent setting powder. My favourite is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Or you can go in with a pressed powder. Again, my favourite of this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. I also like the matte pressed powders. And what you do is, either way that you're going to do it, press out your under eye with a sponge. And ensure you have no creases and no harsh lines anywhere. And then you take a damp sponge swirl it around on the pressed powder or press it into the loose powder and then just dab that onto underneath your eyes and you want more pigment to be focused on the inner corner than anywhere else especially if it's not translucent and ensure you blend it over your nose as well because sometimes you end up with like a line where you've pressed on the powder but you've pressed it on too hard and like made an indent into your foundation 
So I'm also going to take a little bit over my forehead and also under my cheekbones. Now my favourite thing to do to create the best cheekbone is to take my translucent setting powder, press into it with a damp beauty blender and just sweep down and bake underneath that bronzer. So I don't want to leave any of this stuff on my face for too long. And then taking my big sponge, I'm just going to dust off any powder that I have on my forehead, nose, on my chin. I'm going to leave this bit on here until the very, very end. And then just dust up that powder. And I always dust it forward instead of outwards. Just because, like, the bake under here just because I want to keep the intensity of my blush, which seems to have disappeared. Sometimes this happens, so I just go in with a little bit more blush. This next step is completely optional. You can leave your skin like this, but I just want to add a bit of glow back to my skin. So I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Diffused Light Powder, and I'm gonna take this on quite a fluffy brush. And what I do is I'm just gonna dust that all over the center of my face also under my eyes and it just brings back that glow back to my skin again after I've set it all in place. This way I can have it completely set and I don't have to leave any part of my skin a little bit tacky which especially when it's raining or windy it's very difficult to leave it kind of tacky and also I have quite oily skin so I like to have it all set in place. So now we're on to the last step, which is your highlighter. Now I don't use a setting spray, but if you did want to use a setting spray, you could go in now and then have a really intense highlighter, or you can go in right at the end. I'm going to go in with my highlighter now, just on my cheekbones and anywhere that I want to highlight. So the highlighter that I'm gonna go in with today is the Too Faced Love Light Ray of Light Highlighter. And I love this highlighter. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to take that right on the tops of my cheekbones, right here and down. And also under my eyebrow. I like a very, a very dewy highlighter. So I just highlight in all the high points of my face. I'm going to leave my nose for the minute because I need to contour that. So I'll show you how I do that as well. So to contour my nose, I take my bronzer and I take this Scott Barnes. This is the 61 brush, which is like a curved fan, like a small fan brush. It's like a small version of my bronzer brush but I really like it for doing nose contour. So I start under my nose, like right at the tip of my nose here, and just blend that in. And then I also do quite a dark bit of contour around the bridge of my nose, like this part here. And this brush is like the perfect shape to do this it's a perfect curve just to get right into that corner and then I take a line down and then I spread it out with that brush down my nose and the same on the other side and then I also do a line across just to give it that like button shape And that is my nose contour done. Obviously, if it does look a little bit dark, you just go down with your finger and just blend it all in. And the final step for this whole look is to go in with the last bit of highlighter just on your nose. So you do a dot on the end and then a line down the middle like an exclamation mark. And now I'm just gonna dust off this bake. And you can see the skin in all its glowing glory, which I love. 
I just love having glowing skin. And then once you've dust off that bake, you can then see where it needs like some more blending or anything like that, but just it's that glow for me, definitely. So I'm gonna quickly nip off camera and do my eyeshadow and just finish this all up. And I'll be back to show you the full face all complete and show you the skin and how it glows from afar. Okay, so I've done my eyes and i put on my lipstick. If you want to see this eye look, then tune in to tomorrow's video and hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell so you're notified when I upload tomorrow at 7 p.m. and I will show you this eye look. But that is my full flawless base routine. I absolutely love it and I can go out in the rain in this and even though I haven't got a setting spray on, because I've really pressed in all the products, it does not budge at all and I really, really like that. It will last all day, no issues, so I love that. And I hope you guys did enjoy today's video and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Like always, comment below any other videos you want to see me do, any other sort of topics you want to see me talk about I will happily do that for you guys and don't forget I am uploading on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 7pm so if you don't want to miss that then don't forget to subscribe to my channel but I hope you guys have a lovely Wednesday and stay safe out there and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys!